Hello everybody, I welcome you all again in the Typical Machines Lab. Today we are going to uh, once again uh, design another machine on this dissectable machine system. As previously we have uh, designed this that decision generator. It's already uploaded on the channel. Right? In that we designed a lab form DC generator. And where we designed this armature having four coils and four committed segments and these are the rest of the components which I have already discussed but right now what we are going to design will make this machine as DC shunt motor as from construction point of view DC generator and DC motor have the same construction but where they differ they differ only in the input and output right in DC generator we give this input by using this variable speed drive that's the mechanical input was provided by this variable speed drive and the output was tapped across the armature winding at to these two brush terminals as was connected uh, we connected a voltmeter across the, uh, that these terminals at that time right now what we are going to do we will make the same machine we'll run it as a motor that's we will change only the input we'll give the electrical input and we'll see the output as mechanical for that what we need to disconnect this mechanical input and we'll use an LN key to remove this flexible coupling between the two machines. Okay, and we'll remove these locks. And almost we can see we have removed this mechanical input. Now what left to us is only this lap round armature and the field windings and the uh, armature terms are bring on these breast at E and F and the field terms are, are bring at this terminal F and H Now what we will do we will make this machine as DC shut motor for that we will show this terminal E That is the one armature terminal with this field winding at F and another terminal on this side this G and H will be shorted That we have connected the armature winding and field winding in parallel Right after that we will energize this parallel combination by a DC source that's to give the electrical input to this machine for that with that is provided by this variable supply so I will connect this black terminal across this one of the supply across this terminal and similarly we are going to energize the another terminals of this now design the DC shunt motor at here okay after that we will switch on the MCB and we will start increasing the input that's the electrical input to this DC machine until the rated RPM it, it reaches to the rated RPM so as you can see as I am increasing the voltage you can see the machine is now working as a DC shunt motor and the speed increases as accordingly I am increasing the voltage now also you can see currently the machine is running in clockwise direction for a given positive and negative supply so you can see I, I will show you another thing if we will do if what we will do if we interchange the terminals the direction of current in the field winding and armature winding that will get reversed and you can see the machine is once again running in the same direction this the reason behind this is that because the direction of current in both armature as well as the field winding gets reversed as a result of which the machine uh, runs uh, in the direction as it was running in the previous direction but if we, we will do if we if we if we if we interchange only one terminal that's if we uh, try to change the direction of current in either uh, either of the field winding or in armature winding then the direction of current at that time will get reversed for that what we will do we will switch on this MCB first and we will short the terminal we will try to interchange only one terminal for that what we will do will use a long wire and I will connect now this brush terminal to with this field part
and this brush terminal will be connected across this terminal and now the same machine will be I will energize and now it must run in the direction opposed data as that of it was running in previous so I will switch on the MCB you can see as previously it was running in clockwise direction as I am increasing the voltage you can see the direction of current in one of the winding has got reversed by virtue of which the machine has started increase running in the anti clockwise direction you can see that so this was all about how we can design a DC shunt generator on the dissectable machine system and simultaneously how we can change the direction of rotation as required at any time that's either we have changed the direction of current in field winding or in armature winding if we will change the direction of current in both the directions then the direction of the current will not direction of the rotation will not change thank you